To all the founders out there, please spread your ideas. You should spread your ideas. You should talk about your idea all the time and uh, get the network you need to um, yeah, scale your business. Yes, we, we lost a lot of opportunities in the past, but there are many, many things to come where we can build great companies and startups. There is no place I'd rather be. It's not a community, but more a family. Um, we really share um, the ups and downs. We share failure and success. We share the good and the bad, and we really try to help each other to, to make the next step and uh, to be successful. Welcome to Munich, everybody. Today I'm here to explore the venture capital and startup ecosystem. And I've had some really, really great meetings and short video interviews lined up for you to enjoy in the comfort of your home. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day and uh, let's get started. Funke Digital is the investment arm of the Funke Media Group. Um, we're investing in HR tech solutions, in digital health uh, startups and uh, scale-ups. Munich is a great ecosystem for founders and investors. Um, we have many accelerators, incubators, um, co-working spaces, corporates like Funke. We have many founders who are open to connect, um, many investors who are approachable. Um, and we see more and more um, upcoming unicorns here out of, uh, out of Munich. So it's a very good place to live. My wish for the next five years is a 10x Munich from now. To all the founders out there, please spread your ideas. You should spread your ideas. You should talk about your idea all the time and uh, get the network you need to um, yeah, scale your business. CapMatch is an intro manager for startups and investors across the globe. We started 13 months ago and uh, onboarded 1,300 startups looking for 1 billion euros in equity. And we've acquired more than 15,000 startups in the last 13 months. So Munich is special because Munich has the two biggest universities um, with great entrepreneurship um, uh, uh, courses, which is the LMU and the TUM. Munich also has Werk 1, which is pretty famous as a startup uh, kind of house of startups. I think my personal opinion is is that the the Munich founders, especially the guys from the School of Economics, are really really good. There's one thing that is really a, a threat to the Munich startup system, which is the lack of IT professionals and the competition from the, the big fang companies like uh, Facebook or um, Amazon. I think we have a very vital startup community. It's although Berlin is more uh, well known for the startup scene, I think it's, it's a little bit different in Munich. Let's say it's not so well known for, as a startup city, but if you, uh, you look around here in the co working space, you see a lot of startups, a lot of companies with ideas in the digital, uh, digitalization, fintech companies. And I think it's, it's really, really um, interesting right now. So my impression is the founders are very focused. When I look around in the, uh, in the offices here, in the co-working space, I see a lot of small teams, five people, six, seven, eight people. Founders here don't lose time with thinking, or overthinking things, but uh, start and are very, very focused. Some, some older, old school companies like to, to say, oh, digitalization, everything happens in, in the US, you know, Facebook, Amazon, Google uh, was all invented in the US and the, the new thing is AI is all happening in China, but I think it's not, it's not true. Yes, we, we lost a lot of opportunities in the past, but there are many, many things to come where we can build great companies and startups. 
to make it really short, there is no place I'd rather be. It's not a community, but more a family. Um, we really share um, the ups and downs, we share failure and success, we share the good and the bad, and we really try to help each other to, to make the next step and uh, to be successful. Um, as startups, we don't have the resources and the power the big corporates have, so the only thing we have is we have each other, and that works pretty well in Munich. I don't think there's a stereotype. We do have a lot of different branches and um, different faces and different topics here in Munich. We do have very, very um, risk-averse founders, of course. That's the one starting more the traditional um, businesses, but we also have the, the crazy visionaries, like, for example, Lilium Aviation uh, and ESA Aerospace, who, who really want to do something that can change the world. From a founder's perspective, I think we're in a very good way from, from the mindset and from the way we, we see startups. We need more support from the political side, we need more money, we need more investments in, in infrastructure and education. If we compare ourselves to um, other regions like uh, China and the US, if we um, spend for example a billion on AI education, uh, China does 10 or 100, um, the same goes for, for the United States. And I think we need to realize that startups are a thing, not only because we have one or two cool startups, but that they can really change the future and give them the voice they need uh, in politics and, and also um, on stage. What a great day to be here in Munich and it's really nice atmosphere, very cold, but it was really exciting to meet some of the key opinion leaders of the venture capital and startup ecosystem of Munich. Now I'm on my way home. Oh, and if you're still here and I guess you really like this video, then maybe send me an email. Here's my email or my WhatsApp and tell me which city I should visit next time to really get the hang of the ecosystem. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.